This is Keith Berkelhammer and this is Reef Bun TV. There are a lot of variables that can impact the health of a reef tank and temperature is something that should be watched carefully during the warm summer months. A chiller is the best way to keep things cool, but they are high ticket items. Budget conscious reef keepers do have options such as using a fan across the top of the tank to promote evaporation, which cools the water. This is exactly what I did when I first entered the hobby fresh out of college with minimal coin. The fan certainly worked, but I needed more punch and pondered other cheap alternatives. I came up with what I thought was a bright idea at the time. Find an old water cooler and turn it into a do-it-yourself chiller. Somehow, I was able to track down a working unit that was being thrown out, so I was in business. Or so I thought. Ultimately, I didn't have the technical expertise or patience to make it work, but at least I gave it the old college try. There are other do-it-yourself options such as using a dorm fridge, but one should use extreme caution since a homemade device is going to have reliability issues. Lighting is another thing to consider when pondering whether a chiller is necessary. The metal halides I use, yes I'm old school, are very warm so using lights that don't emit a lot of heat such as LEDs will certainly help. I do believe there are other advantages to using metal halides, which I discuss in another video that you can view by clicking on a link at the end of this video. Anyway, the location of tank equipment can also have an impact on temperature. For my last two tanks, I've housed my filtration and other equipment in a cool basement. If a basement is not an option, then consider using a cool garage or another room near the tank. Anything you can do to keep from cramming all of your equipment in the tank stand will help. Otherwise, fans will be necessary for venting and cooling everything. Personally, I have plunked down the bucks for a chiller for my reef tanks, and it has been money well spent. For my last two tanks, a 225 gallon tank and a 187 gallon tank, I have used a Tradewinds 1 half horsepower inline chiller. The unit is extremely reliable, and the customer service is fantastic. The first one I bought arrived damaged due to shipping, and Tradewinds had me freight it back to them free of charge absolutely hassle-free. In the end, chillers are not required to keep a thriving reef tank, but a tank can go south in a hurry if things heat up, so think seriously about how you are cooling your tank. You will be happy you did. Just a quick reminder that you can view my live HD webcam on ReefBum.com. Use the ReefBum TV nav button to get there and to visit my HD video page. Many thanks for watching and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be alerted to new videos on my YouTube channel. And you can view that video on metal halides by clicking on this link.